her Dawn Engage reverse and um, the little brakes just popped a little bit from being put up wet yesterday. Not supposed to rain today. Chance of rain going into the tomorrow night again. We've got very moderate temps and on and off moisture for the next week. Pretty nice for December for the most part. Don was watching Greg Fischel weather a few minutes ago at the counter in the kitchen last night's published video. So weather is on the brain this morning. I don't see Stripe. But Tux and the other boys are here. I'll call him one more time. Not like him to miss breakfast. Alright, there's a little strobe light flashing first thing in the morning. <laughs> I do check all the power every morning for the heating pads. I'm tired. Is it Friday yet? Oh, wait a minute. Michelle and I are shopping today. It's Thursday. It's a great day. So Johnny's AP Stats class is taking another walk to the historic Oakwood Cemetery this morning, which sort of borders the campus. Good morning, Ruby. They're gathering data for a AP Stats project. The ride in this morning's been easy. Um, I was on autopilot up until the 70 401 merge and um, 61 out there, not foggy and certainly looking like it's clearing. So it's gonna be a good day. Not a bit of pretty sky color as we come past marbles this morning. Marbles being the kids museum. That's on the other side of that mural. We used to hang out there a lot. As a matter of fact, um, this Friday night they're having night with the elves and the boys and I went to that um, the very first year they had it when they were little. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. All of the museum staff is dressed as elves and there was, you know, North Pole Santa themed, fairy themed um, food and it was a good, it was a good time. I've been stopped here at St. Monica's for a few minutes playing Pokemon and looking at the news. Um, time to scoot on down the road before I make myself late to meet Michelle. I uh, read an article in Teslarati yesterday and I didn't quite understand 100% what it was saying or feel like it had documented enough cases maybe to warrant the article or I don't know, it left me a little puzzled, but apparently there are quite a few FSD beta customers, people that have paid for FSD, that still have cars that haven't had the camera upgrade at all, or have had the camera upgrade, yet something in the software thinks they haven't had the camera upgrade. So I guess bottom line is I'm not the only one that's had issues getting their camera sorted out so that they could participate in the beta program. Um, I totally understand why Tesla sends you the invite and then lets you schedule because obviously they can't handle everyone wanting to schedule it all at one time or they wouldn't be able to do any other service at the service center. And I don't just mean for the camera upgrade, um, the MCU upgrade, and I know you know, there's other things people would be willing to pay for, like the Matrix headlights, if Tesla would be willing to pay, to swap them out um, at, you know, cost to the owner. But uh, apparently some other people have had some issues. Uh, some people got a bad camera put in, but there was no extra details, and that caused it to say that they still needed to upgrade even when they had been for the camera upgrade. And so it was like an erroneous software check and um, I didn't hear it read, see anyone else talking about the, the issues like exactly what Ruby had, but apparently some people had the upgrade done and then the software was still failing the cameras and at least in some cases, one of the cameras really wasn't the part number they put on or 
there was a defect in the manufacturing I don't know something was actually wrong with one of the cameras and you might remember that they were ready to replace Ruby's camera the last service visit but they confirmed that it was the correct camera and did not replace it so I think Raleigh service knew that was a possibility that like the camera upgrade had been confirmed had been performed but that you know if FSD still wasn't allowed one of the reasons could be the wrong front camera up here um, so anyway, you might want to read that if you're either waiting on the upgrade in your car or just interested in some more details, but apparently I'm not the only one that had issues. The camera upgrade wasn't the most smoothest rollout ever, um, but in the end it has happened for Ruby and it was free and complimentary however you want to phrase it and all is well that ends well like I said I haven't you know still have not had any issues with the cameras non drove all the way to Charlotte and back with no issues um, you know FSD beta did really good of course we were mostly on the highway I think a lot of us are ready to see are still slightly just the little niggle of worry there on how the merging of the city and the highway is going to go because we all rely so heavily on the highway being really predictable and using that a lot um, but time will tell I'm ready for V11 I'm ready for the Christmas stuff Elon do not put the Christmas stuff out on Christmas Eve I don't want to be stressed about my Tesla update again on Christmas Eve if it's a real Christmas gift like how about on the 20th before people travel or just tell us it's going to be a New Year's gift after people are done traveling, but but not on Christmas Eve, okay? Just not on Christmas Eve, Santa Elon. Before or after, something along there. Because I have literally worried myself to death on Christmas before over my Tesla update. And I don't want to be thinking about my Tesla update this Christmas Eve, this Christmas, okay? Just, just, just a word there. Traffic on I-40 is really backed up this morning. That would be headed west toward RTP. But it's not usually backed up like that when I come underneath it. Busy, yes. Stop and go, no. Marty's in front of the car and I can't see him. I don't think, you know, there's nothing about Ruby that's going to show me that he's in front of the car either. Okay, he just went into the garage, although that's not really any better. Let me go remove him. He's excited to see his mama. So I try not to get mad when I have to get out and scoot him out of the way. Kitty safety is of vital importance at our house. And don't come up onto the parking pad without looking. I would worry about the uh, delivery trucks if they weren't so loud and the cats weren't so afraid of them. But they are not afraid of quiet Ruby. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Come here. Hi. Do you want a pet? Hi. That's my good boy. I'm always watching out for you. It's not bad at all out here this morning. Yeah. It was 60, borderline put on a jacket for me. I decided I'd take it off halfway through and tie it around my waist and I'd probably be most comfortable that way. Well, some of this stuff has really pretty leaves. I think this here is a native called Sparkleberry. You can kind of tell by the size, leaf, bark. It's a really tough wood. Sometimes you look at it and go, I don't want that there, and you gotta trim it, and you need some serious, a serious cutting edge. And then since I've learned it so pretty, we usually don't mess with it anymore. There's plenty coming down the driveway. As of four minutes ago, we know that everything is okay now, but uh, Fuquay Varina Middle School, right in the heart of downtown Fuquay, went on lockdown this morning due to a reported firearm on campus. And I am happy to report that it was not discharged and that there were no injuries during this morning's incident. However, 
they did find a firearm and did detain a juvenile that uh, had the firearm on their person or I guess was found to be the one that brought it onto campus, their locker or something. They didn't release those details, of course. But they found the firearm and apparently they know which student and they've been detained. And they are sending buses that were otherwise picking up other elementary school children around the county because normally our elementary school kids start at 9.15 middle school earlier and high school earlier than that. We use all the buses to do all three levels of school. It's a very long school day here. Um, they diverted buses from regular pickup over to the middle school so they could dismiss the students as soon as the incident was over. Uh, apparently a lot of them obviously were quite upset and their parents and they feel like no additional learning would happen today and I'm sure that's probably the case. You just want to go hug your kid and say a prayer that they're okay today. So anyway, that's a little close for comfort. It's a horrible thing that our children have to be afraid at school of being shot. And unfortunately in our country that Johnny has shared with me concerns he has every time he hears about these incidents. So I have personal experience with a child that is aware of these things and it impacts their feeling of safety on campus. So I'm sure he's not the only one, including the staff and teachers. But thank goodness everyone is okay. Scared, but okay. A bunch of seniors loaded up on the uh, bus over there. Lots of folks like me. Well, I think technically most of them either were slightly older or at least looked older. <laughs> They're probably going Christmas shopping, right? Going to some sort of a Christmas market or... Uh, that would be my guess. That is a lot of leaves. Michelle pinged me. She heard about the incident at Fuquay Verena Middle School. She said she heard <laughs> that they shot out a window. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I, that's probably true. There were kids at the school. Apparently, they did not shut off the Wi-Fi. Parents were getting texts from their kids. Uh, surprises me a little bit. That wasn't part of the lockdown plan to shut it off. Um, even cell phone use in the area. You know, if it was a multi-person group and they really had harm on their mind, trying to prevent them jamming the signal somehow that would allow communication among the individuals in the school that sounds like a good idea to me of course then you don't want to keep the police from coordinating with each other i don't know how you do one and not the other but anyway we're still meeting at guardian angel but we could see some bus traffic i guess heading into town either one of us uh, last year Ariel was at Fuquay Verena Middle, and she's not anymore. Neither is Connor. Connor's at Westlake. He got moved or started Westlake or something. So uh, none of her kids were at the school, but she's had kids that went to that school. It's 64 and turning out to be a beautiful day. And I am waiting to see what mural they are putting on the side of the realty building, formerly Ann's Diamond Mine Jewelry Store and formerly... Fidelity Bank, which now occupies this building up here on the left. It is still a small town, relatively local bank. Oops. figured I'd record coming through town this way for a change since usually you see me going the other direction. About the only time I come out this way is when I'm going to Guardian Angel. It's I think slightly shorter than going up Jed Parkway and it definitely has less left turns. The uh, gentleman that had the gun in his truck when his truck um, malfunctioned and ran over a child at the Raleigh Christmas Parade, his father was charged this past week with um, 
something to do with the firearm issue since I guess the son having the firearm it must have been registered to the father so therefore maybe it wasn't proper considered properly secured I'm just thinking about this morning's gun incident obviously a middle schooler got it from somewhere and if they can trace it back to the somewhere which apparently is often apparent I'm sure there will be charges against the parent but what would possess a child to not understand, not comprehend that bringing a gun to school, even to just blow out a window, is a life-altering uh, action that has consequences that are really serious? You know, this is not a little graffiti spray paint somewhere. Not that that's okay, but this is just the notch above graffiti. It's just a much much more um, serious and I feel I just you know we're losing these people left and right to all kinds of stupidity hey girl hey. How are you? I'm good it's the mystery machine I don't quite know what it is yet but it's pretty darn cute what do you do with it play box for the kids toy box kind of a thing or something you go in there pretend you're driving it i guess so i guess it opens it's been you know for transport sealed shut or made so it won't come apart huh it's awesome and not to be left out but a death star hot wheels play case so many incredible memories of purchasing books here for the boys and spending hours reading at the house and i still have the entire christmas and halloween collection we're buying some more cute Christmas shirts and this one your gift is in the litter box <laughs> Connor meowy Christmas but it's too small oh, but I can wear this one I found a tuck shirt and a striped shirt this is what we like lots of stuff coming out to look through right that's right lots of new mini flags today baking spirits bright and Santa more modern with his forest friends. For your consideration, it has mermaids on it. Oh, All the frames and prints are still 15% off. This frame is gorgeous. I don't necessarily love $25 and you put your own print in it. That's a, that's a bargain. I guess no glass, but coming up with glass is not hard either. I was trying to say there's another great selection of new stuff since they put it on sale. So I put this uh, Christmas Village pet shop in the cart, but it's not very Christmassy. I really like it. And then, watch out, sweetie. They have this um, Santa, it's hand painted ceramic. It's similar to the one I have, but mine has a basket over here with ornaments in it. Not buying, but those sure are pretty. Oh, I might have to have that, whether we need it or not. I mean, it's got kitties on it, Michelle. It's cute. I don't see any. It. I don't see any secure yet today, but there is some false craft. That's what that is. And what's this? This is made in China. I thought maybe St. Nicholas Square. Spode. I have some really nice sets of dishes, and dishes are so totally washable by thrift. Okay, Hallmark. Where's my cyber truck ornament? Did you find another piece of glow in the dark glass? We've been collecting lately, so we have to carry a black light around with us. They have a complete set of various little bird houses or lanterns for decorating today. Somebody gave away some serious models. I'll stick to Legos. That's too much work for me, but if it was R2-D2, I'd have to get it. It is a legitimate, real Build-A-Bear. For my Penn State friends, as seen today at Guardian Angel and Hand Painted. If we're not going to find a pink item today, then finding a mermaid item does uh, does what we need. Look what like Michelle found for me, and it's generously sized, which would be good over top of another shirt. I like it, I like it, I like it. Black kitties for the win. We had a great time shopping today. Um lots of good things i showed you a fair number of them i would show you more if the music wasn't the copyright music wasn't playing so loud uh, michelle ended up buying a god how tall is it it's 10 or 11 foot tall artificial christmas tree light it pre-lit four pieces i think uh they wrapped it up in one of these really nice tree bags for 
and uh, she had a scoop because she was um, needed to go pick up Ariel and the her, her alarm had gone off and then the snoozed alarm had gone off so she loaded up and hightailed it out of here but she made out really good on uh, on an artificial tree and uh, I'm pulling around back to make a donation I have quite a few boxes in the back I'd say that fence is up with the intent to be permanent there used to be like propane or something in there it's really too bad they couldn't take that down and I see they've put this alternate road for the neighborhood um, there I wonder if there'll be more privacy fence put up blocking the back side of the shopping center because those are homes that are going in there he really wants to live on the back side of the shopping center even if you know the stores are good neighbors they're still stores well we've lost our sunshine 63 degrees but no sunshine I just wanted to say I'm back on my driveway and um, those pretty red leaves there that's sparkleberry bush best is my understanding that's what the locals call it um, I could be wrong but I, I think there's some more over in that direction too it's very pretty we've tried not to ever well that's not actually our land but we've tried not to ever take out anything that has great fall color like that not seeing a ton of holly berries this year you know the amount of berries on the american hollies it varies from year to year and some years it's bunches and tons and other years not quite so much so this is the most expensive shirt i've ever bought you 64 cents oh wow <laughs> so take it out <laughs> that bag right there oh wow he was talking about ken berry last night had on this really i know the squares aren't as big Okay. But this is what you get for 64 cents, and it's been launder laundered, and it's uh, pressed. Yeah, pressed. Uh, yeah. And it was in the bin over at the Buy the Pound store. By the pound. And it's been laundered and everything. It's yeah. all crisp, so he's having a little trouble with the button. But hold it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah Dr. Barry had one on that was um, a little bit bigger square, but he's yeah. got that one in green. It's just the exact same shirt I found him over at Guardian Angel, so... Anyway, for 64 cent, you enjoy your right. shirt. At that price, you could almost afford to wear it once or twice and ditch it. <laughs> you don't even bother to wash it. Yeah, that's right. Well, take it to the dry cleaners anyway. There yeah. you go. Well, thank you, sweetie. I had to pay full price for that one. Uh-oh. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. This is a mock. Um, I don't remember if I downloaded it for free or paid a few bucks for it. It's not a very large mock, um, so it wouldn't have been expensive um something like this would go for three to five dollars or free anyway it's a take on a harry potter building the stuff stocking um this was something that i wanted to build this is something i'll have to pull parts for out of my personal inventory it's something i'm willing to change up some colors a little bit if i need to versus sourcing other things i had already done um another winter village twist on a harry potter building if i remember correctly this might be mm, three broomsticks or something like that i only built the one building there's another one in this set of two um i had talked about it when i built it last year in whatever video it was i built it on but at any point i'm basically going to make this other building to kind of go along with this building in the town I switched to the Little Winter Town Hall mock. Um, this one is just totally somebody's design. It's a pretty small building. I did not have all the necessary parts for the snow for the very foundation of the other building and trying to source those in December is probably pretty hard. So I'm just looking to have some fun and slow myself down a little bit and do a building. I got to pull parts instead of just assemble parts. Um, Anyway, this looks really cute, and I'm going to do this instead, at least for now. I didn't get super far. You know, when I start having to pull parts, it starts taking a lot longer, which is good because it slows me down some. Um, that's where I got today. I've got the foundation and the floor inside the little building built, and um, 
I'm going to make some meatballs now before I go take Johnny to Taekwondo and I'm going to stop for the day. with their blue run lights. I mentioned this a few days ago um, that they're basically between, I thought it was, it's either 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. and 6.30 in the morning or something, they're going to run with them so it shows their presence more around town that you're aware that you're in the area where police officers are. Is host supposed to help keep us safe during the holidays? And I'm, I mean, I'm sure it's helpful. I, 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 I am. I'm just filming to demonstrate that um, that's what it looks like. I'm headed into Walmart while Johnny's at Taekwondo. I just hope they have the stuff that I need because tonight it's not just browsing. I really need some stuff like mask for Johnny for school because they're required to wear them at St. Augustine's. Oftentimes Walmart is 100% out of masks. They only carry like 10 boxes in here now. Well, there are a couple of Fuquay police up here in front of the store. I think it's great that you can spot a police officer more easily due to the blue lights being run um, when it's dark out, essentially when it's dark out. Well, to avoid the flu, which is um, pretty rampant here in North Carolina right now, I did wear my mask while in Guardian Angel today in Walmart. I have to say that, you know, I took a break during the non-traditional cold season and um, I would just like to say that uh, having to put it back on or feeling uh, the need to put it back on is kind of a bummer. <laughs> I didn't miss wearing it is what I'm trying to say. And uh, Walmart was... Um, on a scale of 1 to 10 was about, I'm going to be generous and say a 7 tonight. There was a definite improvement. Because the last time was I was in there, I would have rated it a 2. <laughs> That's how bad it was. There was still stuff. Cardboard boxes that were empty thrown on the floor. And pallets of things waiting to go places out. And, um, you know, the aisle's not 100% picked up. But they had all of the lighting organized in the Christmas department so if you needed lights you probably could actually find them and um, there were a couple other nice touches done just in time for Christmas I, I just thought the store was more stocked than last time there was heavy whipping cream I even found one organic one that I picked up because it's cheaper at Walmart and um, I didn't go down the cat food aisle because I had a lot of stuff in the car. But most importantly, they had the masks. I just bought five boxes of 24. Um, that should get us through most of the rest of the school year. So hopefully I won't have any more mask emergencies. I mean, they have some spare at the school, obviously. But um, yeah. So anyway, they had what I needed today. So I'm not going to gripe about them. 